A local doctor whose nine dogs died in his car back in 2014 will avoid jail time and felony charges. The doctor pled guilty to one misdemeanor charge and had to pay a fine of $500. But many in the animal rights community say the punishment does not fit the crime. News 2's Matt Alba has the story. It was August of 2014. The hot summer sun beating down onto Dr. Charles Bickerstaff's car, his nine dogs in the trunk. He took them everywhere with him. They were his children, and he loved them, and he made a horrible mistake. Bickerstaff drove to work in Mount Pleasant and then left the dogs inside the car while seeing some patients. After the temperature inside the scorching SUV climbed well over 80 degrees, the dogs all died. Those dogs suffered. They suffered excruciating pain. Baking in what amounts to an oven until you are dead is, is horrific. In court documents obtained by News 2, prosecutors could find no evidence to show that Bickerstaff willfully or knowingly intended to cause pain or suffering to his animals. Instead, the state found evidence strongly showing Bickerstaff, quote, loved his animals. But Joe Elmore of the Charleston Animal Society said Bickerstaff got off too easy. This person should have been charged with ill treatment and there should have been nine counts. But he wasn't. Bickerstaff was initially arrested on nine felony counts of ill-treating animals, but after pleading guilty to a single count of abandonment of animals, the more serious charges were dropped earlier this month. Tonight, we went to Bickerstaff's home here on James Island to ask him about those dropped charges. Bickerstaff didn't appear to be home. They are heartbroken. But his neighbor said it's a shame. He loved his dogs. His wife loved their dogs. He's devastated by the entire experience. Um, he mourns them, and he made a huge mistake. It shouldn't have happened. We're not saying that the person intended to kill those animals, but the person demonstrated reckless behavior. This is a slam dunk animal cruelty case, and the solicitor's office has sent a message that animal cruelty is not taken seriously in Charleston County. On James Island, Matt Alba, News 2. A vigil will be held tomorrow night to remember those nine dogs that